Security is tight at this mosque in South London, where worshippers arrive for daily prayers. Do you have anything in your pocket? No, thank you. 17-year-old student Anam Taha is used to this every time she comes here to pray. Like many other Ahmadiyya Muslims, she's afraid for her safety. She believes her minority sect is being targeted, claiming she received a leaflet calling for them to be killed. When I read that, I was kind of scared, like, what, what's this really trying to say, that kill us a lot? Because I was there alone, I kind of got scared. We haven't seen that leaflet, but it's clear the community is facing hostility from some Muslims. There are calls for their businesses to be boycotted, and certain mosques are preaching against our Mahdi's. The preacher in this internet video doesn't call for any violence, but tells Muslims not to associate with the community. British Ahmadis say things have got worse since militants attacked two of their mosques in Lahore earlier this year, killing more than 90 people. The community has long been persecuted in Pakistan, the only country that forbids Ahmadis from calling themselves Muslim. We know that we've had suicide bombings here, so the potential is always there that unless we deal with it immediately, then the same people who were radicalized then will get radicalized and then they could take action and uh, I, similar things could happen in this country as are happening in Pakistan. Ahmadi leaders fled Pakistan over 20 years ago and set up their global headquarters here in South London. The community can openly practice their faith in Britain, but many mainstream Muslims don't consider them to be real Muslims because some Ahmadi beliefs differ from mainstream Islam. In a nearby shop window, we found this poster denouncing Ahmadis, claiming they are traitors to the Muslim faith. The group behind the material say they've been distributing it widely, but they're adamant it doesn't incite hatred. The word choice may not be very friendly, uh, but it, it would be a stretch of the imagination to think that this can cause any violence or anything like that. To connect this to a hate campaign, quote unquote, is a stretch of the imagination, a leap of the imagination that I'm not willing to take here. That poster and several videos are in the hands of the police, but no action has been taken. They told us, whilst the material clearly contains unpleasant references to the Ahmadiyya community, it does not constitute an offence under the British legislation. All allegations of hate crime will be rigorously investigated. Meanwhile, the community and police are working together to try and stop the hostility towards Ahmadis from spreading any further. Divya Talwa, BBC News.